Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It's April 11th. It's going to be your full length reading on YouTube. Um, you can watch the 10 minute version on TikTok, but I uh, would encourage you to subscribe to YouTube. It's free to download. It's safe. And you can watch my full length readings over there. I'm going to call in St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call in the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what's in the current energy today. All right, current situation. Truth and only truth for the collective. Current situation. Overcoming. Ten of Swords. You've overcome the Ten of Swords pain. This can also represent a reversal of the Ten of Swords pain that you went through. Whoever put Ten of Swords in your back, this could be going back to that person. We'll find out more when we clarify. Uh, the challenge. What's the challenge for the collective? Wow. A King of Wands in reverse. This is an arrogant, ego-driven, self-centered, self-absorbed masculine energy. This is not a divine masculine. They're challenged because you have overcome the pain that they caused you. Wow. All right, the focus. Holy Spirit. Wow, that just almost smacked me in the face. They're focused on you, the hermit. You're staying private. You are going within for answers. You're spiritually gifted and um, they're focused on you. All right, past energy, past energy. On the fence. Seven of Swords. Somebody tried to hide the truth from you. They tried to block the truth in the past, but you still discovered the truth. Seven of Swords on the fence. Yeah, they tried to block the truth, but you know about their deception and their lies because you're a hermit. Um, you go within, and the divine gave you the clarity that you need, that you needed. Um, and the strength position for the collective strength. What is going on? with these cards. You are the queen of wands in the upright. So this was definitely probably a soul connection to you, whether it was a lover, a family member, or a friend. It was definitely a soul connection. At one point, you may have been aligned, but this person fell from grace. You and your strength are powerful. You're proud and confident. You're passionate, you're driven, and you're spiritual. So that's a strength for you. You know what you want, and you're going after it. Um, near future. Near future. You are fated to have multiple options, multiple possibilities in your life, okay? The wheel of fate and destiny is aligning for you and multiple doors are opening. That's what I get. Sorry guys, I gotta readjust here. Um, I'm too short. <laughs> okay, advice for the collective, advice. The advice, somebody is in deep regret over all of this madness. Somebody's in deep regret. Will they ever tell you? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, in the environment. Wow, everything on the fence. In the fence, on the fence, in the environment, people can see that this greedy masculine is trying to hold on. It's a blockage for them. It's like they're holding on due to finances and it's gonna be to their own detriment, their own demise, them holding on to a situation that is toxic, okay? Um, hopes and fears for the collective. Hopes and fears. 333 three, three on my timer, divine intervention. Hopes and fears. You may be seeing 333 three, three at this time. Hopes and fears. Someone's afraid because they don't want the cycle to be over between you and them. But that cycle's closed. There is, there is no coming back from what they did to you. They did too much. So, uh, potential outcome for the collective. Potential outcome. Somebody's going to be sitting in the energy of feeling sorry for themselves. And the potential outcome, they're bored, they're discontent, they're dissatisfied with the choices they made. Um, they're also upset because you are getting what you deserve. Six of Pentacles. All right. So, now let's clarify with the Rider weight. Um... If you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I am scheduling for next week. Schedule um, sooner than later before it fills up. You can uh, go through my scheduling link. You can find that link on TikTok and YouTube. Also, if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find that link also in my bio TikTok description of YouTube. Current situation, you're overcoming the deception, the betrayal, the pain someone caused you. Okay, current situation, please, for the collective. Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, look at this. You're, you're no longer abandoned or rejected. 
If this person abandoned or rejected you, deceived you, did all this shady stuff to try to destroy you, you've overcome all of it. Both of them is in reverse. That's amazing. Okay, the challenge, uh, we see a karmic masculine energy. Could have Aries, Leo, Sag. They are challenged by you healing from what they did to you. Challenge. Yeah, they want to send a message because they don't want the cycle to be over. They want to communicate. They want to have a new spark with you. After deceiving you, lying, putting ten swords in your back. This is delusional energy for sure. Okay. Uh, the focus, they're focused on the hermit energy. That's you. You're staying private. You're going within. You're very spiritual. You have all the answers that you need. Look at this. Hermit clarified by hermit. Double hermit. You like doubling down on the hermit energy. You're not giving access to this person at all. You have your boundaries up. You are staying very private at this time. Look at that queen of swords. You mean business now. You mean business. You're not playing with this person. You're done with the games. You're going on with your life and you're happy doing it. All right, more karmic energies. We're in retrograde guys, so whatever. It just is what it is. Um, past energy, somebody tried to block the truth from you. They're lying, they're cheating, they're stealing ways. They tried to hide it from you. Past energy, but you got the truth. God gave you the clarity that you needed. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah, despite the hiding, you know, creating illusion and hiding their lies, you still healed. You moved on and you healed. Um, your strength is the queen of wands. You're in your full power. You're proud, you're confident, you're spiritual, you're driven, you're going after your dreams. That's a strength for you. You took your power back. Yeah, and you, it restored your own happiness. You didn't realize how unhappy this person made you, how unhappy this person was, and all the projections this person was placing on you until this happened. And then when this happened, you took your power back and you found peace and happiness. You were probably shocked. Like, I didn't realize what I was sacrificing in that union. And now I'm completely happy. Um, near future, multiple doors are opening up for you. This is fated. The wheel of fate and destiny is aligning for you. Near future. Because, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. This is a, causing a tower for someone from the past. Because things are aligning for you and you have multiple options, they're going through a tower. You being elevated, you're speaking your truth and you've cut this person off. You have no desire to communicate or connect with this person. You're done. You're living your best life and you're done, okay? Um, advice, this person is in deep regret. They're in deep regret, advice. The regret over the lies. Regret, regret over the deception. This person could have chose a Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is, they're very regretful because this is an emotional manipulator just like them. This is a very insecure feminine energy. And this person, boy, do they regret it. Boy, do they regret it. Um, in the environment, people can see this masculine is greedy, that they're holding on to a situation that's toxic in nature only for money. People in the environment are also seeing that you have a passionate new beginning. Your wishes are coming in. You are co-creating with the divine. You are helping others, guiding others, collaborations here with other people. So people can see the deception, somebody holding on and being deceptive, and then they can see you moving on and your wishes and dreams coming true. Gift and blessing from God. That's awesome. Hopes and fears, somebody's afraid because they don't want the cycle to be over with you. They want to keep controlling you, lying, cheating behind your back. Hopes and fears, please. Yeah, this person, they made you an option because they thought they had options. They don't have any options. They have pigeonholed themselves in a situation that they can't get out of with a karmic partner. And that's justice. That's karma for what they did to you. A uh, potential outcome, we see someone crying here. They're upset, feeling unhappy with the life choices they made, feeling they missed an opportunity uh, with you, which yes, they did. Potential outcome. 
potential outcome. Still in the energy of wanting to win at all costs. Potential outcome, please. Potential outcome. Yeah, they're gonna take some foolish action here. It's an attempt to win at all costs. They're gonna come forward, try to apologize and wanna reconnect. It's a trick. This is a trick. They only wanna get close to you, to use you and destroy you. Take it if it resonates. If it doesn't, you know, you know your person better than I do. I'm just telling you what's coming out. You're the high priestess. Intuitively, you know all of this. You know what's going on in the background. All right, let's do the, let's do the initials and signs. And then we will clarify another round. I don't know how my letters, let's see, hold on. I got them all mixed up somehow, guys. All right, let's see what we get today. And you guys, you use the letters to see what words come out for you. I'm not always that good at figuring out the words. I mean, I hear names of places, but I'm not always that good with the words. All right, who's this reading about, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Who's this reading about, please? One more shuffle. G. Now remember, it can be someone's first, middle, or last initial. Z comes out, I think, every day. M, N, P, A, S. Immediately, I got the name Sam. W, we got Scorpio. We got Y. We got J, we got U, um, we got L, and we got Q. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna say we got gay. Somebody's name could be gay, or somebody could be hiding that they are gay. Um, we have a man, M-A-N, we have Hmm, somebody has a lot to say, S-A-Y. Uh, um, okay, I heard New Jersey, I heard Pennsylvania, I heard Mississippi. Um, Paris. Gus. Somebody's name could be Gus, G U S. Yeah, somebody's wearing a mask. I didn't get the K, but I definitely heard it. All right. Let's get some advice and then we'll, we'll do another clarification for you guys. Um, I did 50 minute reading yesterday. I don't know if that, do you guys like that length of a reading or, or what? I'd like some input on how long of a readings you guys like, you know? I don't wanna do the readings and then you guys aren't able to watch them because of work or life or what have you. Uh, what advice do you have for the collective, please? What advice do you have for the collective? Yeah, for the collective. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, don't let fear of the unknown stop you. If you're called to take action, take action. Don't even worry about, that's a, that's a trust fall. You know, that's taking a leap of faith. 
uh, spend time outside. They want you to get grounded. Release what doesn't serve you so that you can release what doesn't serve you. Pray like it's your job. That comes out all the time. Justice will go in your favor. We saw that. Uh, keep a dream journal. For some of you, you're getting downloads in your dreams. Uh, take a trip. It will do you good. And um, it's time to do your research. What are they doing research on? Um, St. Michael is protecting you. That's awesome. You are safe and protected. You have already won. Being by the water will help you. I know it helps me. Positive affirmations are needed and you will be vindicated. Let them talk, stay silent. That keeps coming out too. Someone's getting ready to be exposed, guys. That's what I feel like. And the quiet, the more you stay quiet, the more they expose themselves. That's really what I'm getting. All right, where's my other deck? I wanna do uh, the Intuit Tarot. Okay, I found it. All right, so let's clarify with the Intuit Tarot. Wait a minute, am I upside down here? Yes, I am. All right, I did already shuffle this deck. So in the current situation, um, you have overcome betrayals, deceptions, being abandoned or rejected. Somebody tried to find financially ruin you. You've overcome it all with God. Current situation. And somebody's heartbroken because you overcame it. They did everything with a third party or a group of people to try to really destroy you, to solidify the actions that would be long lasting destruction for you. Now they're in heartbreak. Uh, there, this distorted King of Wands energy is challenged because they want to send you a message, but because they don't want the cycle to be over. I was going to say, but they know they can't. So that's for someone. They know they can't. You either it block them or you're in a new, new relationship and they can't. Yeah, you're the high priestess and you are well aware, again, of all this person's energy, what they're projecting, what their intentions are. You know this person better than anyone. Um... Yeah, look at that. Trying to compete with you. They're in a silent competition with a high priestess that doesn't even know they exist. You know they exist, but you're not concerned about what they're doing in their existence. You don't care. Um, the focus is doubling down on that hermit energy. Really protecting your energy. Focus. I'm going to focus, please. Yeah, because you, you've let this end and you've gone through an awakening, a, a complete overhaul, a renewal of your life. And you don't want this person knowing your business. You don't want a lot of people knowing your business. You're very private. You went through a huge change, okay? Past energy, this person from your past tried to block their lying, cheating, and stealing. But you healed anyway. Because God revealed the truth to you. Past energy, please. Yeah, they try to create this illusion, seven of cups, unclear, illusion, confusion around what they were doing to cover their own lies. You know, that's just, ugh. Yeah, but you're the queen of wands. You're in your full power. You're passionate. You're driven. You're beautiful. And you soon realize that you could do better. You could do better. You deserved better. Um, your strength is the queen of wands, being in your full power, finding happiness. You realize when you left this person just how unhappy you were with them. Now you're happy that you got rid of the dead weight. It was a burden to be with this person. Strength. Strength, please. Yeah, your strength is making this person feel abandoned or rejected, wanting to rush in. But again, with the hermit, you're like... Mm. Fort Knox, <laughs> you are so guarded. You have a wall of protection around you. You don't want this person sniffing around your energy at all. Near future, um, you have many possibilities. The wheel of fate and destiny is aligning for you and, and it's the tower is falling for someone else because of this. You're being elevated, you're speaking your truth and you have cut this person off. Near future. Yeah, Ace of Cups, you're operating in divine love energy. You're calling opportunities into your life that are emotionally fulfilling for you because you operate in this divine love energy. 
which is amazing. All right, sorry guys, my legs are going numb. Um, the advice, you have someone out here in deep regret, deep regret for lying and being deceptive and choosing a queen of cups in reverse. They are so regretful because what they align themselves with is this emotional manipulator and immature energy. They could have water sign placements, they don't have to. Take what resonates, advice. Yeah, they're trapped and they are so stuck in their mind because they, they can't escape. This queen of cups in reverse is jealous and insecure and she has her claws dug in this person, which is karma, of course. Um, you're the queen of cup, uh, sorry, queen of pentacles. You're grounded, you're stable, you're financially secure, and you're confident. You are the direct opposite of this queen of cups in reverse, who is so insecure and immature. Um, in the environment, people can see this masculine from your past is greedy and trying to hold on to their own detriment to this queen of cups is for finances. The people environment can also see that your dreams, your wishes are coming in. You have a passionate new beginning and you are collaborating with others, okay? In the environment. Yeah, and it's leading to your victory. This passionate new beginning that is a gift and blessing from God is leading to victory and success. That's amazing. All right, so hopes and fears. This person is in fear because um, they don't want the cycle to be closed. The illusion is broken and they thought they had so many options. They need an empress, an option, or high priestess, an option. The high priestess, empress energy is no option. They chose a karmic and now they are receiving massive karma for this. Um, hopes and fears. They're afraid of this karma because they know it's gonna be really bad. Hopes and fears. Yeah, a king of wands. I can't make it up, is a king of wands. They're going to go through massive karma. Give me one more, please. Hopes and fears. This King of Wands is terrified. Yeah, still holding on, still greedy, still trying to hold on to finances and going to go through massive karma. It's, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get what they think. In a potential outcome, we see someone that's feeling sorry for themselves, feeling like they missed an opportunity, but still wanting to win at all costs. They're going to take some sort of foolish action. They are warning you because this person may come in and try to reconnect with you and say they're sorry, um, want a reunion with you. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Whoops. Potential outcome. Yeah. You see, they worked with others to try to destroy you. That whole group, the whole dynamic is falling apart and you are still in the upright. Do not trust this person at all. They have absolutely nothing to offer you. Do not trust them. Potential outcome. Yeah, what did I say? Seven of Swords, they're, they're in the same sneaky energy and trying to hide it. Do not trust this person. They're a liar, a cheater, a snake. They're trying to hide the fact that they're gonna try and deceive you again. Keep that boundary up. Nine of Wands, you are the wounded word. Keep fighting for what you know is right for you. Don't let the snake back in your grass, okay? Let him go. We'd whack him out. All right. And I know you guys don't want this person. I know. Trust me. I read the comments. I can't always comment um, because I have so many. <clears throat> but I read the comments. So I'm well aware you guys don't want this person back. We're just reading what comes out. Um, sorry about the commercial on here, guys. What else does the collective need to be aware of, please? What else does the collective need to be aware of? Yeah, seven of, of pentacles in reverse, you reap what you sow. This person is reaping exactly what they have sown. You get what you put out. What goes around comes around. And the song I heard this morning was, it's too late to apologize. New moon, you're manifesting your desires. This comes out like every day and I shuffle like crazy on this deck one month or the next uh, new moon, it says you're setting your intentions. A new cycle is beginning for you. Yeah, despite someone trying to block this wish for you, you have this blessing, Ace of Pentacles. Financial gain, an offer, flourishing, meeting someone new, stable, security, abundance, and potential. Regardless of people 
trying to block your wish come true, it's not gonna matter. You're still getting it. The collective. The collective. Yeah, so you're embracing your new beginning. You're investing in new things. You're learning new things, trying new things. And you've made that decision and you're making plans for the future, long-term plans for your future. That's what you're focused on. You're not focused on immature nonsense. You're just moving on. Wow, we see a king of swords here. A masculine energy that is honorable. They have integrity. They're loyal, loyal to a fault actually. This person is coming in. This is someone that's destined to marry you, be committed to you, protect you in the 3D realm. It came out yesterday. Wow, this person, will be a ride or die. This person will not let up any past person even come near you. This person will protect you like you are their most prized possession. Not that you are a possession, but this person, okay, will protect you like you are fine china. That's better. What else for the collective? Yeah, and this person's gonna bring you so much happiness. So much happiness. They're gonna build with you. That's the truth. This leads to a victory. This is a divine blessing. This person coming in not only to protect you, but to co-create with you and bring in so much happiness into your life is a divine blessing. Truth, clarity, and victory. For the collective. Yeah, empowering you. This is um, invisible force. Divine aid, divine intervention is here. This. This person was definitely sent by God to help empower you, for sure. Empress, yeah, to help you to leave in the past what needs to stay in the past, you know? Yeah, this is a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry that you will have with this person. Um, it says new passion for love and life, attraction, go for it, lighting, Igniting desire, aphrodisiac, engagement, chemistry, and fertility. You can grow things together. It leads to victory, success, and public recognition. And the person from the past is going to feel sad. You know, because you don't want them, Queen of Swords. You're moving on, making big plans for the future. All they can do is watch. Watch you move on. Watch you embrace peace. You know, this person, they're not... They're not being accountable. They're the devil to the Knight of Cups is somebody that is so toxic. They are love bomber. This is somebody that cannot commit to anyone. They will always cheat, lie, and steal. Always. Because they're broken and insecure and they need validation. They need multiple people to validate them. Whatever relationship they're in, they're not true to that relationship. And the person they're with is not true to them. You have the Ten of Cups and a true emperor coming in. That's beautiful. I love it. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we can get, guys. And just make sure my cards are. All right. I'm gonna do the, I haven't done the Kipper in a, little, in a while. So let's just get some from the Kipper and see what we get. All right, for the collective, what's going on? There's a karmic mask going out here in bad health. Let's give me another one from that. Yeah, they could be stuck in a toxic relationship, courtship here, and it's affecting their health. Wow, toil and labor in reverse. All the efforts that they put in have backfired. Yeah, they're in poverty. Remember I told you, whatever they're doing, whatever they're trying to hold on to for money, it's not gonna work. Yeah, now they're in poverty and they're bound to this situation. They can't escape it. Their journey is blocked. Their forward movement is blocked. They can't manifest. Yeah, they don't wanna be judged for the work they did with this community to try to um, defeat you. They don't wanna be judged. Yeah, they did it with a karmic feminine because they thought they were gonna get unexpected income. This is sick. 
who throws away a partnership that is divine in nature for money is sick. They're trapped. You are still in the upright and your pathway is clear. You're the empress energy. They didn't do anything but make themselves look foolish and create karma in their life. Bad karma. Um, yeah, you have this stable home. You have a divine union coming in. You know, it's the direct opposite of what these people have coming in for them. You're not in despair. Look, so it kind of went like this. They wanted you to be in despair, but you are not in despair. Kind of was more upside down. The blockage here, they're so concerned. They're concerned because you have this wealthy man coming in. Whether wealthy in the 3D or wealthy in the spiritual realm, you have this wealthy man coming in to grow a family with you. Yeah, this is an official person. This is a high level, high ranked divine masculine energy. And your past person was a thief. They thought stealing from you would destroy you and keep you from ever having love again. But this thief is receiving a message. It has to do with the karmic partner that they're tied to. This could have to do with something to do with travel, online, whatever it is. There's something being revealed, some truth that's coming out. Um, and they're not going to expect it. It's going to be a surprise. It has to do with the false person here. Yeah. The, the person they're with, there's some sort of revelation about what this person, karmic partner they're with, something they did that is going to be revealed. And it has to do with stealing. This is going to create an ending for them. Yeah. Ugh, humiliation. Definitely this person is being humiliated. Whatever this message is, it could be something this masculine did um, that is going to be revealed that will be humiliating. Or it could be that this karmic feminine did something against this masculine and that's going to cause humiliation as well. Whatever this news is, it creates an ending in this dynamic. So, which, whatever, that's, we don't care about that, what's going on there, but they're just letting you know that's what's going on. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, like I said, if you're interested in scheduling, schedule fast because the last week filled up within a couple days and I'm already scheduling for next week. So have a great day, guys. I love you. Bye-bye.